Hello, I'm starting with a series of additional videos to the Nomad Sculpt manual. I record this video with the upcoming version 177, but it works also with the older versions. And I start with the add primitive video because the first thing you see when you start Nomad Sculpt is a primitive, the sphere. Okay, at the bottom menu you find a small icon, wire icon, press it. It's important to watch your mesh. From time to time use this wire icon to understand what's happening uh, with your mesh and so on. I see a lot of videos where no time the wire is used. I don't understand it. Okay, so you see here your topology of the sphere and yes, this sphere um, with this settings I don't use most of the time. Okay, I delete it. So there are two options to add primitives. You see here in the scene menu a small plus icon here and here you can add primitives. So when you press here you see here you can add a box, a sphere, a cylinder and so on. And now let's start with a box and this is what you get. And the important thing is don't use it or try to understand stand what you can do with the settings of this primitive. Here in the topology menu it's possible to change the settings of this object of the cube. You can change here the box topology, the X division and the post subdivision. The post subdivision, yeah, you can test it, but it rounds the edges. Yeah, I don't um, describe now um, what it exactly does. Um, I pin the menus, but you can use it here to increase, I think is the word, uh, your poly count and you can use it also to round your edges. So when I start sculpting with the objects, I use a, poly, a very low poly count to manipulate the object very easy. When you use here a, a division of zero it's and you validate this object, it's easy to move the single vertices. You can change here the, the whole object of the shape of the whole object and yeah, deform it very easy. And now here you see in the topology menu, menu here the multi-resolution. You can use it now to create more yeah, divisions on your mesh. When you press here subdivide it creates an object like this and when you go back you get this Oh, there's a bug. So let's use this one and this. And there's also the option for the linear subdivision. Then your object keeps the shape, but it subdivides 
the mesh or the yes you see it and now when you use here the move brush you can here move your your vertices and adjust your mesh so the other example is when you use the same box with this wireframe or this yeah, with this mesh it's not possible to adjust the complete shape it always uh, gets uh, round edges and yeah you can sculpt with it but you get this so this is one option to add primitives the second option is at the right side here in your tools menu there is a tool called where is it here insert tool i have to say here this one this is also uh, a small plus and here you can add your primitives when you press it at the left side here you get here your primitives And you can yeah bring in for example a cylinder and when you now press on the object here it inserts the primitive on the surface of the other object so when you create one such primitive and you use now the yeah your pencil or your finger and tap on a other position it creates always the same primitive and you can yeah adjust it or move it oops Okay, in the new version 177, when you add an, a primitive, I add now a cylinder, there, there is a new option here, sorry, the three dots. When you press it, you get here your settings of the topology. You can change it here, the parameter of the post subdivision and the, the topology. And here I show you now what's possible. You get here a cylinder. But a cylinder is um, only yeah, one object you can create with this primitive. You can start with a division of three and four, you get a, a box, five, you get this, six, and now Oops, sorry. Here, this number, the next division is 12. It's not possible to create a division for a primitive like the cylinder, a division of eight, because the algorithm of the 
end caps don't work with a division of eight. You, um, uh, I show it here. When you use now a higher division, the next is twelve or the next step eighteen, because of the yeah of the end caps. It's not possible to create other divisions. But it's it's nice to create, for example, such objects, and remember. It is a, a cylinder primitive. Okay. This is very important to know your settings of the primitives, I think. The only primitive you can change every yeah, value of the division is the UV sphere. When you need, the f I delete the cylinder. When you need a division of eight, for example, you can change here for the UV every uh, every count of the. Yeah. So you can here use a division of eight. And you can change also the division of the y. So here it's possible to create such objects like a diamond or, yeah. So, and when you use a division of three for the y axis or yes, and now it's possible with a x division to change here every yes every number you need so when we use now 12 for example and we validate this object and you use a, a radial symmetry here for with six. Symmetry is active. You can create such stars from, from a single primitive like a UV sphere. And when you use now the project tool at the left side in your toolbox and with the line, sorry, I have to flip. Yeah, it's not possible with the web demo. So you can create such objects. And remember, with a multi-resolution, here when you press linear subdivision and subdivide it one time and turn it off and subdivide it again, you can smooth your edges. Okay. So I delete this one and add a new primitive. The plane primitive is also interesting. Here you can change here the division to zero and in combination, sorry, I, I delete it again. When you add here the, uh, the primitive and use this menu, you will find here a checkbox for the UVs here. Keep primitive UVs. When you activate this checkbox, your object 
has from the beginning a UV map. So now when I bring in this plane and change the division to zero, I get the lowest poly count of a plane, what, what is possible. But it's also possible when I validate it that I can place a texture on it like this. So yeah, my nice dino. Here with a plane primitive it's also possible at the top in the pop-up menu you see here the disk you can create also yeah uh, a circle primitive or change it to this shape like you want okay and here with a with a torus this is also an interesting object you can change here for this the division for example to 4 then yeah it's a, a cubic torus and it's also possible to change the angle 90 degrees so and the angel offset you can rotate it like this and you can create a hole when you press here hole you get an object like this and when you change now the divisions And now the next number is 12. <laughs> yes, sometimes I need other divisions. Okay. So, and now you can use also again the insert tool and bring in another primitive. For example, a cone and press here on the surface of the other object and change here the divisions so at the left side there is instance active and when you press now on the surface of the other you can add quick other primitives to the object yeah good I think adding primitives the important thing is here your parameters and your, uh, your topology options. Learn to use it, what you can do with this settings. Because it's almost possible to create every object yeah, you like with only a few adjustments here. Yes. I hope it helps. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.